Let's talk about import quota today. This is also one of the instrument of trade policy. Assume home is a small country and uh, it is giving import quotas. Import quota is like that, uh, for example, my country is telling the other countries that you can only export this much. Or it is telling, uh, my country is telling the producers in my own country that you can only import this much, right? So imports cannot increase beyond this particular point, right? That is what import quota is. Now there are ways import quota could be imposed. One is that it can give licenses to domestic firms, right? It can give licenses to domestic firms, right? And what these firms can do that these firms can import at PW, right? And sell at PQ, sell at a little higher price. So there is some kind of profit which they can make on this. And this you call as quota rent. This you call as quota rent. So when the licenses are given to the domestic firms, quota rent are taken by the domestic firms only. So this remains in the home country. The other way is that foreign governments or foreign firms or exporting country could be given a right to sell in my country, right? And in this case, whatever quota rent is going to be generated, right? quota rent actually goes to the exporting countries. Quota rent goes to the exporting countries. There is, whenever an import quota is imposed, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you graphically also. So whenever import quota is going to be imposed, it is going to raise the price of the imports. Why? Because you cannot import that much which you want. So there is a restriction on imports. So the demand for imports are still more than what the supply is. And hence the, hence the price is going to increase, right? So an import, an import quota always increases the home price of imported good. Okay. So let us have a look at this diagram. So you have a, a demand function. You have the supply function. You have the world price, PW. And at this price, beta, this is the amount of amount which is supplied. And this is the amount which is demanded at PW. So what happens is that uh, uh, at PW, this is going to be the supply and this is going to be the demand, right? Fair enough. And uh, when the price increases to PQ, because they're able to sell at a little higher price, uh, when price increases to P PQ, it is going to give incentive to the suppliers to supply more. Uh, and when the price further increases, demand is going to further fall in my country, right? But because the supply has increased, so the amount of the imports, they have sort of reduced in this case. So this is, let's say the import quota, which is being uh, given, okay. Now what happens? What is the amount of the consumer surplus at PW? At PW, this was the surplus. Let me use 
a little smaller brush. This was the amount of consumer surplus which was generated hmm? at PW. When the price increases to PQ, this is the amount of consumer surplus which is generated. Uh, this is the amount of consumer surplus which is generated. So this area is a loss to the consumers. No, this area is a loss to the consumers. This A, B, C, and D. This area is a loss to the consumers because of import quota. Right. So consumer surplus. Or loss in consumer surplus. Is how much? A plus B plus C plus D. Fair enough. Okay, what about producer surplus? Uh, what about producer surplus? So if you think about it. Earlier, how much is the producer surplus when PW is the price, right? How much is the producer surplus when PW is the price? That is area above the supply curve and below the price. So when this was the producer surplus earlier, only this much. Now, when price has increased, producer surplus has increased to this. So this area A is like a gain in producer surplus because of the increase in price. Area A. Your gain in consumer surplus. Gain in producer surplus. Gain in producer surplus is A. Right. Okay. What is the amount of the quota rent? Quota rent would be beta. This is the amount of imports now. So quota rent quota rent is going to be equal to this area C. How do I know this? This is the difference in PQ and PW and the amount of imports. How much are those? A2 minus S2. Hmm. Now the point is and the beautiful point is that when the domestic firms are given this quota rent, so this C remains within the country. So net effect, if licenses, are given to domestic firms, right? Will be what? Gain in producer surplus plus gain in quota rent minus loss in consumer surplus. Hmm? This A, A will get cancelled out. C, C will get cancelled out. And you have this. And net effect if licenses are given exporting country it will be what then the gain C is not with you gain C is not with you at all huh? 
So your gain in producer surplus is there and there is loss in consumer surplus. Quota rent is not with you, right? So it is. This is gone. So you're left out with only. Uh, minus B, minus C, minus D. Okay. So this you know, beta. That is, D is your consumption distortion loss. You have been doing this since last recording. <clears throat> this B is production distortion loss. So when you transfer the runs to the exporting country for the quota rent, then uh, the import quota makes it even worse for the domestic country, right? That's an idea. Mm -hmm. So when the rights to sell in the domestic market are given to the exporting countries, <clears throat> so the transfer of quota rent abroad makes import quota even worse off. Uh, so that is there because the net loss when the when licenses are given to the exporting country that is more than the net loss when the rights are given to the domestic box that's an idea right so this is what i wanted to do in import quota beta right thank you